Amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Haunted Cities, Volume 2. Last episode, we found the infirmary, and we were surprised by hanging larva the size of man. For these people are strange people who believe that they're going to turn into some sort of insect. And they... And they worship some sort of false deity bug woman. With a nice rack, but, uh... Mm, looks aren't everything. <laughs> so, were we going to try and cut one of these guys up? We have a funky knife that we got from the counter over there. So... What the heck? Choose one! And slip! The corner of the infirmary is filled with hanging... chrysalides. I'm gonna have to get a thesaurus for all of this stuff. <laughs> they throb and pulse with shifting, changing, growing life, apart from one exception. They appear fragile, no, so near to the end of their metamorphosis. You dare not move too near. Okay, so I guess I leave these buggers alone. All right, mind by me. I don't like this place. I was greeted with screaming as soon as I came down the hall. Oh, dare I see this room of blasphemy is locked. Okay, fine, 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 fine. What is in here? It seems like a dungeon-y type room. The door is seething. You flatten your hands to the wood and feel a deep shuddering. Some cruel energy in in enervating the material and the palms of your hands. There is no knob or handle. At the center of the door is a metal panel with three thin slots. Well, yeah, I can see that. But, apparently... Having too much fun with this, and that's stupid. Alright, so, what now? What is this? Back to the garden. Do we want to go back to the garden or do we want to explore some more? The sound of that fire creeped me out for a second there. Because the rest of this is just complete silence. It's very strange. So the library. That door is locked. So the chapel's locked and the library's locked. Did I miss something in here? Perhaps. What are you? Meow meow? Hello? I think I just sort of interacted with the footlocker. Hello! I did. That one opened. Is there anything in it that I can take or see or something? I don't know. I'm just grasping at straws at this point and... Okay, that one's locked. Ah. The problem is I can't actually look at these. The limitations of the... choice in graphics or whatever they decided to do with this. What's the point of having them open if I can't look in to see if there's something there for me? Hello? Clickety click, click, click. Can't even click on that one. Okay, fine. So, hey, Mama's boy, what do you got in your footlocker? No, nope, nothing. All right, cool. Wait a minute. I didn't notice that. Can I interact with that? Nope. 
All right. There's got to be something I'm missing. Maybe it. Maybe it's another one of those situations where I repeatedly go back and forth to the garden? Maybe? Let's give it a try, I suppose. Oh, that's not the thing that I want. This is where I need to go. Back out to the garden. The garden of creepage. Maybe check her out again? No? Maybe something else I'm missing. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game other than staring at creepy imagery that reminds me of evil. I don't know. How are you guys doing? Me, I'm... absolutely confused. What can I say? There's the dormitory again. We've been there. I must have missed something. What about... Going back to the infirmary. <laughs> Search around some more, because maybe, 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 there is something else that I need to find. Maybe something in the bookshelves? No? Various medical diagrams and surgical illustrations detailing the hybridization of living creatures through surgical means. More like medical blasphemy! Ugh. I didn't see the... I didn't look at these guys. Okay, they say the same thing. Various medical me diagrams and surgical illustrations depicting people who have underground physiological metamorphoses. In Siamese twin with your t dog and a bear? What the... He's his own best friend. Ha! Huh. Okay, the... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna move near them. I'm gonna be so near them. I gotta stick my nose on there and smell it. What? Weirdo. What about this guy? The sconce is not lit! Does that... Is that because they are sensitive to light? Perhaps. The door is locked. Why can't I unlock it? Also... What's with this door? There's something about it. Besides the evil that emanates from it that they so... So frequently claim. Ah, uh, there's something I'm missing. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Who's going to come and help me figure this out? Nobody, that's who. This is creepy and... The creepiest part about it is the uh, isolation. It's like you expect something to jump out at you, but uh, nothing's gonna really do that. Is it? Can I get you? No? Poopy. What about you? What do you say? Have I read you already? A page filled with the erratic scrawlings. The words skin and shred and drink and writhe are repeated many times. I didn't read that one. Well, fancy that. I was not thorough with my investigation, I suppose. Clickety click 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 click. The heavy tome is marked in several places. You open the first marking. The passage reads, On her wings rode fury and venom and violent irreparable change. Or irreparable change. 
The sky shivered with her birth, and the horizon was pregnant with the mounds of her children. That's pretty impressive to impregnate a horizon. What? The second marking. There is a passage that reads, Her children were not of weak flesh, nor dull hand, nor small grasping, gasping mouth. Her children had skin of armor, and lances filled with venom, and cleaving jaws, and their minds were a chorus, jubilant and unified. And she loved them, and they were all that she loved. Creepy bug children with a hive mind. That's what we're dealing with here, people. Yes, creepy, creepy, creepy. You open the book with a third marking. There's a passage that reads, Most of her children came with her from the wound in the sky, but there were some among the fleshy ranks of men that she saw as worthy and raised up, and they drank up full her bile, and their bodies were changed to better serve her seething anger. Okay, so these guys want to be the humans that she finds worthy. And this is freaking creepy. That's what this is. Bass for me! You open the book to the fourth marking. There's a passage that reads, And when she had combed the herds for her new disciples, and her ranks had swelled to her liking, wings opened across the earth, and the sky drew back in horror as her children filled it, and the morning saw a world that had been matted down to the soil by blood. Strangely, I'm finding a weird connection here with the other... With Volume 1, there's there, there's kind of an intertwining story, which I didn't expect there not to be, but it's definitely going in a direction that I didn't expect. But we'll have to see if we can f figure out the rest in the next episode. I don't want this to go too long in an episode, but uh, anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, take a look at some of the other videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, it'll amaze.